So I'm standing right on the edge of the European continent. The part of the city behind me is called Besiktas. And just behind me over the far side of the Bosphorus is Asia. As we got closer to the shore, I noticed a red house which looked like it had been partially demolished. What actually happened was this. So it's Saturday afternoon, it's May 19th, and you may notice that on some of the buildings behind me there are very large Turkish flags. The reason for that is that today is Ataturk Youth and Sport Day. Ataturk is the founding father of the Turkish state. So there should be a lot of stuff happening around Istanbul today. I'm going to go check that out and see what's going on. <laughs> I think I've just joined some sort of demonstration. No messing with them lads. I'm pretty hungry now actually and a visit to Turkey wouldn't be complete without a proper Turkish kebab. I'm going to try an experiment because on the comments on the vlog, it's all been positive, but some people have said that uh, my accent is strange. Mostly people from home, because in Dundalk we speak with a different accent. Uh, and I tried to explain that it's because I've been living abroad for most of my adult life, like seven years in Slovakia. And obviously people there don't really understand the way we speak in Dundalk. So I've had to adjust my accent a little bit, make it more softer so people can actually understand what I'm saying. But I'm gonna please the people and uh, try and interact with Turkish people but using my Dundalk accent, let's say. So let's see how that goes. This is an original Turkish kebab. Let's see if we can order one with a Dundalk accent. What's the crack, Awa? Uh, sorry. This uh, menu. Yeah, can I get a mixed kebab, please? Mixed kebab. Yeah. It's a big mixed kebab. We show the mixed kebab. Shawarma, yeah. Shawarma. It's chicken meat. Chicken and uh, lamb. Beer? Beer, 17 lira. Head on. Okay. Thanks a million. Cheers, Awa. Where are you from? Spanish? Where am I from? Spanish? Spanish. No, no, no. I'm Irish. Irish. Irish? Irlandia. Irlandia. Yeah. You're Turkish? No. No? Where are you from? From Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan, nice, okay. Yep. That's that all, lads. Thanks a million. So, what we learned there is that when you speak with an adult accent to somebody from Uzbekistan, they think you're Spanish. This is what I've been looking for the Blue Mosque. So, I was actually refused entry to the mosque for wearing shorts, which is totally understandable. Uh, but there is a little place beside it where you can borrow for free. Uh, something to cover your legs so we can get inside. It's a tougher dress code than Ridley's. What do you think? Reckon I can pull off a skirt? You got Dorio tonight? Yeah? On a town. These are the ancient city walls. Gonna just take a walk and follow them down wherever they lead. They're going downhill, so that's good.
sum it up, Istanbul is a city which surprises me every time I come here. A city of 17 million people straddle across two continents with a young, vibrant population, incredible food, and unparalleled history. Trust me, you need to visit Istanbul. <laughs>